Hello, welcome back to the next episode of the Tattooed Koei Giza. Tonight we're doing Natasha's all time favourite. It's mild, it's creamy, and it's got wine in it. Beautiful beef passanda. You can do it with chicken, you can do it with prawn, lamb, vegetarian, whatever. Beef passanda, absolutely bootyful. Right, just getting things ready now for the beef passanda, 400 gram of beef. There's all your ingredients, everything's listed there for you, so I won't bore you with all the details, it's pretty straightforward. Right, let's crack on then. Right, here we go then. Quadrophenia soundtrack in the background. Oil and butter ghee. You can use whatever combination you like. I love butter ghee, but on its own it's a bit too strong. So it's about, oh no. Two tablespoons of oil, one tablespoon of ghee. That's already hot. So we're gonna go straight in now with the diced onions. So that's only half an onion. Just gonna fry this off now for a couple of minutes until they soften up. As soon as you see one go brown, you know they're done. I think that's about the easiest way of explaining it. So that's going to be two to three minutes. Well, it's been about three minutes now. So in with the ginger garlic paste. This is the frozen stuff from Morrison's. Really good, actually. Obviously, I've defrosted it. Just microwave it or just leave it out for an hour. Yes, I know it's best to make your own. But it is actually really good. It's only 85p per packet and you get quite a lot of it. 85 pence each, that is. Right, mix all that in. Uh, fry off about 35 seconds. Just make sure you're not burning it. If it's starting to catch, put a bit of base gravy in. Right, we're just gonna put a little bit in now. Beautiful. But right, I'm going in early with the coconut powder because I need it totally dissolved. And there's a lot of it. This is going to dry it right out now. Right, happy with that. In now with the tomato puree that you've watered down. Salt, sugar, pepper. Pepper's optional, and the amount of sugar and salt is entirely up to you to taste. You do need a bit. It's a sweet dish, it's a passander, isn't it? So it is going to be very sweet, very high in calories. Lots of butter, lots of cream. But we're getting the high calorie ones out of the way before January the 4th when we start our diet. And then we'll be going back to normal curries rather than creamy high calorie ones. All right, go in with the two teaspoons of mixed powder, the cumin, coriander, a little touch of paprika and garam masala, and the other one that I missed, coriander, cumin, turmeric, and the others. Right, just leave that for about half a minute. Right, so the spice is cooked off, so now we go in with a full ladle of base gravy. 
always pour it around the edges. Although it is warm, we don't want the middle of the pan to cool down too much. So that was just over one ladle. So quick stir. And then just let the base gravy cook down for about a minute and a half. All right, that's had a bit now, the oil's risen. So in with the beef, beautiful beef. It didn't come from the butchers, so I'm not holding much hope on it. I just didn't have the time to go to my mate, <laughs> my local butcher, which is Prentice. Prentice Butchers Abbey Road, Torquay. Johnny Windsor, my good, good, good mate of the last 30 plus years. So I do apologize, John. And like I say, it isn't a patch on yours. So it's not saving money, it's just ease. So I do apologize. This was delivered, hand-picked by monkeys. All right. What we got next? Lemon juice? Two knobs of butter. I will be using four. Oh, I've got a confession to make. Um, I do believe I've got almond powder in the ingredients. I haven't got any. I thought I had some, been searching for it. Can't find it. So I used a bit extra coconut milk powder. So that's my confession. But if you have got almond powder, then please do use it. A tablespoon and a bit. It just does make it better. But this will still be awesome. All right, more base gravy. I'm just gonna pour this in, you know. Quick stir. All right, just turn the heat down a little bit now and leave that for about three to four minutes. Right on. Nice big pinch of coriander. Little splash of red wine. What else we got here? Oh, honey, purely optional. Beautiful. Make sure you get it all off your spoon. Why it's not want not. Hope you get the heat still on low. Which is how we want it. A bit too low actually. Just turned it up to four. Right, while the heat's on low, we're gonna put in the cream. Single cream. I think I said about 125 mil. So, oh, that is half full. Oh, I do. I'm just going to save a little bit for the garnish as well, actually. Love them lids. All right, stir it all in. You know what I'm going to say. Naughty curry. Pop a note A. Perfect consistency. I haven't really used a lot of base gravy in this. Right, let that simmer away now for another four or five minutes. Right, nearly done. Cut of pinches of fenugreek leaves, methy leaves, kashuri methy. Grind it up in your fingers, it releases more flavour and makes it less leafy. And that's two knobs of butter, so that's 30 to 40 gram of butter in total. Get 
Just one ingredient left, left. And that's a new thing that I do now. And that is a pinch of garam masala. That was a small one. Just a pinch, not too much. Half a teaspoon. Quickly stir it in. Microwave screaming, must, must have the rice ready. Yes, we cheat on the rice. Oh my God. Take me straight to hell. Right, there we go, I'm happy with that. Double portion, don't forget. I think they're gonna be big portions, but that's how we do it. All right, time to dish out. And there we go. Beef passanda, pillow rice, garnish. Absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, perfect, looking forward to this. So, please find me on Facebook, Instagram. The Tattooed Curry Geezer. You can't miss me. You can have a chat to me on there. I don't bite. It's very friendly. I've got nearly 2,000 followers now. So please get on there and have a look. Subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell. Notifications. You know the rest. So there we go. We're off for some nosh. Tattooed Curry Geezer. Out. <laughs>